I guess just. Oh, just we'll just wait till the water come and then I'll be ready to start the uh, press conference. had a, a great view of it and I'm sure uh, my view was just similar to yours you know I saw where we turned the ball over uh, whether it was like three straight times um, just a simple play um, where one was a pass and the guy mishandled the basketball another one where cross court pass uh, which was a, a tough catch for, for uh, a player and then the other one uh, was another pass uh, very uncharacteristic uh, for us as a team, but uh, overall, you know, we always want to walk away with you know some learning opportunities from a game like this. But unfortunately, uh, we can't play the next game because our season is over. So, with saying all that, um, you know, there this summer, you know, including me, you know, we all have to get better. Um, you know, we have to get better on all levels when it comes to you know what we're going to do to help serve our team to give us a best chance to be a competitive group. Uh, not taking away the fact that you know today's game was a very competitive game. Appreciate the effort from our guys, um, and particularly being that we lost you know two of our two star players, and that's Jet Howard and Kobe Bufkin. Loved how our guys came out and competed. But at the end, uh, in those possessions, you know, that's that's really painful. Juwan, what do you kind of tell the guys after the whole season, a lot of everything that you guys have been through this season to have an end like that? What's the message you, you send there? Uh, there's no message right now because right now everyone's emotions are at an ultimate high. And, uh, and when I say high because of, you know, um, the game that was played and, uh, you know, the different emotions going on in your head um, and everyone cares. So it's important for us to right now is to – Get dressed, and let's get back home. Let's hopefully get a good night's sleep. The key where I said, hopefully we can, and then we'll talk about it when we get back to Ann Arbor. Jerry Stackhouse had talked a lot about coaching against another NBA guy. What did that mean to you, and what do you think of him as a coach? You know, honestly, I don't get caught up into coaching against another NBA guy. I, you know, and it's not about me. It's about the team. I focus more on, you know, how what can I do to prepare my team to go out there and compete at a high level. I don't look at, you know, c competing against another coach, uh, whether he's a former NBA player or if he's a Hall of Fame coach. You know, I focus on how can I help our team, and that's the most important thing because it's not about me. It's about them. You recruited Colin Smith uh, to some extent. He's been rounding into form lately. What did you think of him today? Well, he played well. Uh, they all played well. Uh, they was well coached. Um, they, they also had a really good crowd out there supporting them. You know, every one of them stepped up and you know dug deep and stayed within you know uh, of understanding that you know the game is hasn't finished and they, they played until the buzzer sound. Um, Juwan, you've talked a lot about adversity this year and how the teams pushed through that. I guess what's one thing that this group of guys has has taught you? Well. Um, when we talk about family, you know, it's truly uh, that's something that is not just a word with us. That I see the togetherness um, built on the fact that the culture, and um, you can easily have a team that could be so divided uh, when things, as, as far as your goals that you put out as a team, hasn't been accomplished. And the first goal was the Big Ten title, the conference title. Then the second goal was, you know. The, the, the Big Ten tournament title, and then you know the third goal was NCAA title, and unfortunately we did not you know accomplish those three goals. And so I just loved how our guys continue to stay through the process, allow me and my staff to coach them, help grow them, and then they stayed together because it could have easily been where you have one group pointing the finger at another group. Um, they all came in practice, working hard, trying to come up with solutions, whether it was you know coach and and player, but at the end of the day, I'm proud of how 
it was also the collaboration of the coach driven, player driven. Does anybody have anything else? Okay, thank you, coach. Yep. Thank you, coach.